Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play Jesusita in Chihuahua. Of course, the sheet music is available for free download. The link in the description. Let's get started. Okay, so the beginning, we start with... I recommend using your pinky. If you neglect your fourth finger, it's never going to get strong. Hey, you can use open string. You just have to switch back and forth. Okay, so we have then C sharp and D sharp as well. Okay, so on the A, we're going to use some chromatic notes. We have first finger B, C, C sharp, D right next door, D sharp, and then E. So the beginning, one more time. G, E, G. Right here on measure six, I recommend leaving your first finger down. It's a good anchor point to leave down so you're not jumping all over the place. So measure six. Measure eight, we had C sharp, C natural. Again with fourth finger. And then we get to the arco part. So pizzicato, I like to use this technique. I have my thumb right here against the fingerboard as an anchor. And then I can pluck like that. Some people hold their bow and sort of pluck like this. And then whatever is easier for you. So I would do it's gonna be a fast change. Okay, so at the arco part we have sharp so on that short note we're already moving back to our pizzicato position so 8 9 10 11 12 13 measure 13 So at A we have long accented long accented notes. And then a short note. Okay, and then when we get to the 16th notes. Our fingers and our wrists have to be pretty loose. If you're stiff like this and you're bowing like this going to greatly affect your sound. So loosen up, See some, watch some of my other videos where I show you some bowing technique. This really needs to be loose, okay? So 18. And then you have a retrace, the little apostrophe means to lift and replace your bow. Little D major scale. And then repeat back to A. Okay, so short note. And 
then back to pizzicato. So letter B, the same as the beginning. So now at letter C, we change gears. We're mezzo forte, a little calmer, and more connected and more legato. So the count at C is one, two, one, and two, and one, two, one, and two, and. Okay? You have to be conscious of the rhythm. One, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and. Alright? Again from C. Now we're at forte, so a little more bow, a little more weight. So same count as before. One, two, one, and two, and one. And two, and one. I shift to third on those notes. I think it's better than doing. But if you want to do an extended pinky, it's up to you. Now we're at letter D. This is the tough part. So let's take it nice and slow. First measure, we have... Okay, D major scale. Good F sharp. C natural. And C sharp. Next measure, fourth finger. Okay, it's gonna be easier to use fourth finger on this part. Otherwise, you're gonna be crossing three strings. It gets a little crazy. So use fourth finger right there, measure 75. Next measure. That one, you will cross the strings. Just keep this nice and loose, and you should be fine. Now on this part, we're using a little bit of bow, okay? Nothing too crazy, not too much bow. 76. Optional fourth finger or open. Whatever you want. So let's take that whole section. Letter D. Okay, moving on, 78, almost the same. Then we have I recommend leaving down your first finger on B when you get to it. This finger, leave it down. It serves again as an anchor point, it sort of keeps our feet on the ground. And then lift it on the opening. So the next 
next part is the same except when we get into letter E, but I want to give you a tip before we move on. Practice this section letter D. First, get all the notes. Okay, so you're familiar with every note, C sharp, um, G, F sharp, whatever you're playing, you're familiar with the notes and you're able to play them. Then you're gonna set it at a tempo. Okay, I'm gonna go this beat. Dun, 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 dun. You practice that a couple of times through, and then you speed it up. Dun, 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 dun. Play that tempo a few times. Now I'm gonna speed it up again. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so on and so forth. Now, if you find that you're messing up notes, ah, ah. Okay, stop. Slow it down. You're not gonna fix anything going at the same tempo, fast, and making the same mistakes. Okay, that's insanity. So slow it down. It's tough, but you gotta do the work. Okay, so the only thing that changes when we move on, getting to measure 89, we have those back into the legato section. So 88, we have. You need to be able to make the shift between. we get back to the legato passage, okay? So, going into letter E, we've played this before. Okay, and it's back to the same section as before. Second time, accelerando. We go faster. Now, when you go faster, try not to tense up all this, your forearm. And get real stiff, okay? Keep it relaxed. If you have to, let go of the thumb. Okay, or like this. Don't tense up, that's the main goal, okay? And you're done. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, concerns, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to do another tutorial, let me know. We'll see if we can do it. We'll see you next time, guys.